All right, let's do this run. For anyone wondering, the guide for Hexblast is probably gonna be on YouTube by Wednesday. At the latest. Tuesday or Wednesday. So make sure to check there. Otherwise, uh, this is just gonna be a full leveling run. We're gonna use Stormblast till 28 and then switch to Pyroclast. And then basically play Pyroclast all the way to maps. Um, do I need to mention anything? I don't think so. I don't think I want a mule on Shadow, it's just not necessary. Okay, we should be good. How will it detonate mines without left click? There's a lot of ways. You can hold spacebar, you can use one of the new masteries, you can use automation support probably. Oh, there's no blue. That's kind of bad. Need a blue green. Move speed at least. No blue green. It's fine. You get move speed. There might be blue green on one of the shields. There is actually. I think I will use the shield for now. It should be more damage than the wand. Uh, this is an awful layout, but I'm not resetting. Just go, doesn't matter. Can the poison. I'm gonna switch to the second one as soon as I can. I will equip the Shabby Jerkin when I get new mud plots. Especially because next week the Ross are probably gonna be stronger. We have move speed, which is nice. You, you need, you really do want move speed on this belt since you don't get uh, mobility skill. I guess technically you could whirling bites, but I don't plan to do so. Okay, let's see how the mud flats goes. Why is the load screen so long there? Oh, my keybinds are messed up. Oh no, detonate. <laughs> I forgot I changed it because I was testing stuff. Press I don't die to that. I can. Can I have detonate on spacebar? I probably can. Yeah, that works. Works even while leveling. Okay, we good. I'm gonna get some XP so I can hit level 4 from Hellrake. Should be fine. Uh, I don't know where to go. I think I'm going the right way though. It just looks weird. Uh, I don't think I was going the right way, guys. Listen, uh, uh, but this is just an average League Star Simul- Oh, no, I was going the right way. I just checked wrong. <laughs> oh, no, dude. I'm getting laughed at. This is just a League Star Simulation, okay? This is how it usually goes on League Star. That's fine. No big deal. You're used to this. I need more blue sockets somewhere. Please level me up. Thank you. I'm gonna sell one portal to get an extra wisdom. Try to get. Actually, I will just equip the chest that I have. Should be fine. Farewell. 
don't think I need any gem here. I do want to take Swift Blossom Blue though. I, don't think I, need to be I still cannot drop the shield, but we good. Did I equip Quicksilver? I hope I didn't forget. Okay, we good. Everything's going fine. I still don't know if it's worth placing our Stone down every time, but I'm pretty sure it is, at least early on. Until level 28, you just do it. Our Stone does decent damage. Holy Flame Totem. Uh, I would use this if I actually drop it on Leakstar, but I'm not gonna use it because Shadow normally doesn't get access to it. So it would feel a little bit like cheating and not replicable. Um, I'm gonna switch to this and link Lesser Poison to my Orb of Storms, even though it doesn't do that much. Better than having it unlinked. Oh yeah, you I forgot to buy Arcane Surge, so you do need to buy something at level 2. Or like after title. I will buy it later. I hope I don't forget because you don't want to have it like super high level. Settle on leak starter yet? I mean, I'm leak starting either this or cast on Crediti. Not sure, one or, one or the other. Both builds are like extremely good. Cast on Crediti is like more of an all rounder. This is uh, more specialized for Sanctum and Bossing and probably the tier 17 maps. Which we don't know yet for sure, but I'm assuming this will be good for them. If you're getting a lot of transients, that's good. Oh, I thought I leveled. Flame Ball. I will actually have to buy a Flame Ball later, but I wanna have it leveled, so... I mean, I could level it myself, but I will buy it when I switch to Fire of Pass. Gold's Horn, that's Giga Dem. Cannot equip it yet, but... I don't like the... Oh wait, I could drop the shield technically now. Ooh. I really want that scrap because sometimes you can buy a magic item with it. That was probably not worth the risk. Could be dead there with new Necropolis mods, you know? The Oblix is in charge play I grab the Goat's Horn. Do I need anything else? I don't think so. I think we are big chilling. Don't have a feeling yet. We're looking for blue, blue, green. Pretty much the only one that makes sense early. Second so gold horn though. Good enough to. Good enough to swap. The shield out. I 
nothing here. That's fine. Okay, let's clean our inventory, check for links, grab added lightning. I guess you could technically use added code too, actually, now that I think about it. It would be worse, but you could. No blue, blue, green, rip. I guess I could have bought blue, green there. Kill point and another check. Nothing there. So let's just do it this way. Okay, not ideal, but it works for now. I don't even know if I have blue, 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 green highlighted on this filter. I'm gonna be real. This filter's not really made for uh, leveling this build. I should have used Titan's filter because that one still highlights blue, blue, green from like the good old onslaught days. So Titan's caster filter would be ideal. Buy Arcane Search. I did forget about buying Arcane Search. You are right. Thank you. Please uh, keep that message in chat till after Brutus, so I don't forget this time. I don't know if this is gonna lead to anywhere. No, that's what they didn't. I mean, I kind of know where the exit is. I just don't know where to get there. How to get there? It's like to the left here. Wait, 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 wait. Am I trolling? Uh... I do love being confidently wrong. <laughs> uh, listen, we don't talk about. We 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 didn't talk about that one. Devil, I do not talk about that one. I, I, I just want this run to be relatable, okay? Trying for maximum relatability. So far, definitely 10 out of 10 on the relatable scale. Get lost in every zone. This is not gonna be the way either. <laughs> That's the second flame ball I dropped on this run. How am I just dropping these gems? Honestly, for how much I got lost, this is not even that bad of a run. I wish I had a better life flask. I will actually buy a life flask after Bridges. Because I hate playing without... Uh... Like a medium or large. Normally you get them from muling, but since you don't mule here, doesn't really work. That's a good body armor to keep for later. I don't need to keep this chest anymore. Once I can drop that. I was not paying attention to the blood trail. My bad. Why is he running away, man? Would have been a lot easier with blue, blue, green. Reward, flame dash, do the recipe to get a topa string, sell everything else. Fire can search, don't forget. Thank you, chat. For the carry. I'll run now. You guys contributed. Two essences. Are these worth doing? I did forget about the life flask again. Surely I won't regret it here when I die to this essence and whatnot. This is a little sketchy. I 
feel like this is no longer worth it because it takes so long. Okay, never mind. It was super worth it. So if I got frozen. But it was super worth it because I got my free link. I'm not gonna reset for that trip. I mean, obviously, that was uh, not ideal, but what can you do? Lim dash. How is there free essences? Am I already playing on the updated campaign patch? <laughs> free essences in one zone. This is how every zone is gonna look like after patch. I really hope they make the campaign more fun. Like, they showed, like, Legion and Rachel. I mean, I don't know how good Legion is gonna be in campaign, but, like, I feel like Rachel's actually gonna be good in campaign. So... I do believe that the campaign's gonna feel a lot more engaging on League Start. Even... I don't even necessarily think it's gonna be harder. I mean, it might be, but... I don't think it necessarily has to be. That's a nice layout. Zero back, zero dead ends. No, does that still freeze me, man? I thought I dodged it. At least that, the, based on the trailer, that mob is just gone. We don't have to deal with that next week. Okay, I need to allocate these skill points because I'm getting annoyed by them. One sec. Okay, I need to buy a life flask here. And I need to get in to, to equip the free link. And then we are popping up. I will actually buy an extra added lightning here. I need the gloves because I don't have gloves. Uh, don't need anything there. I'll buy an extra added lightning and an extra large life plus, well not large. Uh added lightning. Where is it? There. Then we vendor everything else, not the free link obviously. Um uh, Equip this, go. Put the added lightning there, even though we could have taken the one from Orb of Storms. I think it's better to have both link. Uh, I should not be leveling Arcane Surge, I should just right click it up. Yo, yoink, heavy belt's always good. Plus one all cold skills, we don't need that, but... You could actually sell that on Lee server, like, something. Like, once a year. Some alchemy is hopefully. Oh, no. What is this layout? Is this even the way to go? It might be. I hope the new mechanics and campaign will give us currency while leveling. Like, it doesn't need to be a lot of currency, just some. I hate being poor while leveling. Whenever you need to fix stuff. I'm gonna use the essence I have on the heavy belt. No, I'm talking like, you know, like 10, alter 10 alterations, 5 chromes, like that kind of currency, obviously. But Even that helps so much. Oh, 
Oh, that's a dead. Whoa! I'm getting owned on this on this run. By kicking hurts on Shadow because you don't have a mobility skill. Well, I mean, you have Flame Dish, obviously, but not like a spammable one. Uh... Turn is a little pain so far. As long as it's like 330 or something, I don't really care too much. I mean, on League Star, I'm just gonna be interacting with the new mechanic. So I'm not gonna be speedrunning anyways. Just for fun. But... I should still try to go like somewhat fast to see... If it ever lacks damage or anything, because speedruns do show that really well. Remember when some- oh my god! Someone wake up Captain Lance, man! I don't necessarily like Storm Blast for clear, but it's pretty good at killing the rares. Which means you get a lot of extra gear. That was a good vendor. Why no Whirling Blades? Uh, the main reason for no Whirling Blades is that I feel like you lose too much damage not using once. You could, but like I feel like the damage is already low. You definitely can. I will just be running this entire campaign. Will it lose me time? I mean, probably. Do I care? No. I don't think you get that much attack speed to make Berlin Blade super fast anyways. Like you can grab some, but it's not a lot. I'm just gonna go straight out. I think if you actually wanna go as fast as possible, you probably should use Berlin Blades, but I don't think it feels good to do so. Also, it's way easier to play with Flame Dash because it's like you can't really like run into mobs and die the same way you can when you use shield charge or whirling, right? So it's also just easier to play this way. And do I swap away for some blast? At 28, I will switch to Pyroclast instead. And then play Pyroclast all the way till maps, and then switch to Hex Blast. By then you should be able to buy a Dread Arc or other curse on hit source. I don't even know where I want to go next. Probably here. I will grab the mine nodes just for the mastery, even if I don't really care about the crit power of it. I think the master is like 10% more damage for 4 points. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's better than nothing. Because the crit does something. Oh, it's lightning and chug resistant. I'm like, why is this skill so weak? That explains a lot. I was a little worried there when I couldn't kill the blue bug, but I think we're fine. I guess you could do the same thing you do on Templar, where you swap, like, weapon swap for Whirling Blades instead of just swapping the daggers. Uh, I don't think you have enough attack speed for that to be worth it. 
Like, time-wise, it's worth it, but mentally? I don't know. On Templar, you actually gain a lot of time from Leap Slam, but... I don't know how much you would really gain here. Okay, I'm level 16, so that's pretty good. A little over leveled, not too much. So what we need is... I will buy a Herald of Thunder here. Which means I should ID a little more. I will buy a Herald of Thunder, I will grab Skitter Bolts. I think that's all I need. can't think of anything else. Wave of Conviction... Um, I could buy Wave of Conviction too, actually, because I will, I will use it later as well. But the problem with Wave of Conviction is that it's gonna do the wrong element, so it doesn't actually do anything. So I will just skip it. It also makes it easier to get the currency for stuff you need. Okay, so we buy, uh, we get skitterboards, we sell everything. Uh, get a Quicksilver here, and then get a Herald of Thunder. Herald of Thunder. Uh, bam, you go there, you go there. Strong trade in, doesn't matter. Could have one Weaver there, but... Oh, whoops, I forgot that. Good enough. So I'm definitely helping Alira on this character. I'm pretty sure you have to stay... Like, not have to stay Alira, but I think you want to stay Alira for a long time. Basically, until you go second cluster, I think you want to be Alira. The, it's pretty hard to get rest on this build. So, rest is just good. And obviously, mana regen is not worthless because we play mana, like mana based and uh, 20 crit mode is never bad, so. Basically, I would expect to play Alira till like 95. So I think it's super worth to help her. Okay, we kill Crichton. I could start doing pre-stacks. I don't know if it's actually worth it though. Damage is fine. Oh. I wanted to go left, but I don't actually have a waypoint there. I don't know why I thought I already went there, so I'm... Since I messed up already, I'm just gonna go first it doesn't matter too much the ordering in act two as long as you aren't under leveled literally doesn't matter Actually, I kind of wish more acts were like this. Where you just choose where you go. I know they they are trying to do that in PoE too a little more. Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk about the whole Trickster versus Sabo in the guide for sure. I genuinely believe there's no reason to choose Sabo, but I know a lot of people's first uh, impression is to go Sabo because it's a trap and mind skill or trap and mind build, right? I'll definitely talk about it. How do I detonate with a left click? I just hold spacebar most of the time. Unless I want to pre-stack. For me, it's very easy to just have my thumb rest on spacebar. I know it's not for everyone, but thankfully next week, starting at like level 20 or whatever, where, whenever you get there, you can just have the detonation while moving mastery, and then you don't really have to do anything. Make it... Roy. 
Actually, detonation while moving is probably not ideal on Stormblast and Pyroclast, though. Not sure. That is something that's like hard to predict, and I can't really test it. Because sometimes you want to pre stack. On, it's better on Hex Blast because pre stacking on Hex Blast is very easy. Since it doesn't go off unless uh, there's something to target. But on others, you can just like ruin your pre stack completely by moving. So I'm not sure about that. You guys can just spam dancing emotes in my chat and expect me to put on a song when I'm recording a YouTube video, man. YouTube would take, take my ass down instantly. I don't know where Oak is, I'm getting lost. a lot of items, I should loot most of them. Is is he just like in the middle? I'm so confused on where where he is. Oh man, I hate getting lost. This is how people feel in this game, huh? I'm pretty sure I just like went past him and he's like straight up in the middle. Like, I barely didn't see him. Yeah. Makes sense. Ah, uh, unlucky. It's fine, I can just log out, clean my inventory, it's not that big deal. Okay, let's sell that. Let's ID a bunch. Those clothes are good enough. So we're probably using those. Oh no, those are better. Okay, currency wise, I don't think we need more alterations really. We have two. Any questions I've seen in Twitch chat more than two, three times are gonna be answered in the guide. Like I, I wrote them all down and they're gonna be answered, don't worry. I have like a list of like 15 questions about the DD build and I think there's gonna be more than that by the time I actually record the video. And they'll still- oh I mean, I fully expect people to still ask but at least I can just be like yo it's in the video you can go check it out there's timestamps whatever you know. That's fine. There's, that's why like listen sometimes it, it might be annoying answering the same question 10 times in a day but uh it does tell you about what people actually want to know, right? Or like what people usually don't know. Can you make a site like Pog? <laughs> you guys are out of your mind. I'm not making a website about a build just to get the build nerfed like two leaks later, okay. Actually, funnily enough, Pox is still playing RF anyways, right? So. Doesn't even matter. Oh, my resist is actually good. Not too bad. I mean, someone should have made a DD wiki like five patches ago, six patches ago now. But I don't think people expected it to survive this long. 
I mean, the, fair, the weird thing about DD is that it actually changed so much over the time now. Like, so much stuff changed. And it, like, got nerfed a lot, but then it indirectly got buffed a lot, and then, like, chain DD happened, and... Uh, here we are. What level am I? I'm level 20. I'm so overleveled on this run. I guess this is what happens when you can read layouts. Hey, leveling must be so easy when like you just run around clueless. Because you just end up like 10 levels high well not 10, but like 5 levels higher than you should be. <laughs> Maybe leveling is not as hard as I think it is if you just, you know, play a little worse. It's I I always say this though, unironically, leveling becomes a vibe when you are overleveled. Like, you actually feel strong the entire time, instead of suffering the entire time. Like, sure, are you gonna lose like 15 minutes or whatever? Yeah, because, I mean, it's inefficient technically, but it just feels so much better. I mean, on League Start, pretty much everyone I know overlevels, even racers do. Hmm, I'm lost a little bit. Hopefully this just connects. Yeah, it does. Okay, we good. This shadow is starting to feel a little inadequate. You like Ustern Blast over rolling magma? Uh uh honestly either is fine it's just like if you are not gonna commit a lot of respects i think eastern blast is better if you were to like really speed run maybe you would do rolling magma not sure wait that's not here i thought it would continue there whoops i honestly haven't thought about it that much though I think, uh, in general, though, people try to avoid leveling with a skill that's completely different archetype than what they want to play. Like, there's one thing using, like, Arma Brand for leveling a fire skill, right? But, like, once you start using Arma Brand to level, like, a Chaos Mine, it's just like, yeah, a lot of flower. You can use Dagger for Verling if you want to, but you, you're gonna miss the damage for sure. Early on, at least. And Verling is not that fast anyway, so... If you're gonna Verling, I think there's dual wield nodes up here somewhere. I don't know if they give attack speed. Maybe I should take those nodes, actually. I don't remember what they give, but they might be worth it for leveling. I need to read that cluster one day. I should actually read it on WoW. We may do a mid-run adjustment if those nodes are good. I think they are good. I forgot to check them. I actually completely forgot about them existing until we talked about this. Sanctum Hall is still mandatory for Hex Blast? Yeah, I would say it's mandatory past like day 2, day 3. It, it's what allows you to scale properly, because it just... x is normally... It has really high base damage at the cost of having low crit, right? But it, the helmet just removes that cost completely. And then you just are left with a skill that has really high base damage. We could go dual build and do the whole thing 
Oh, it's probably gonna be correct. I need to check the notes. If it's correct or not. But we could do the whole thing that Templar does where you use like two different weapons. And then grab the mastery. So we could craft like we could use a scepter and like a random like axe or something. Hold up, I will check and then uh make a decision. Okay, what do we get here? Okay, so it's a caster master, so that part doesn't matter. Cast speed, movement speed, cooldown recovery. Oh, okay. We definitely want to grab this wheel. It's really good, actually. It's way better than I remembered it being. That's for sure. Might even want to skip uh, successive detonations then. We probably do want to skip it. Okay, we will grab this dual master wheel. That's a good shout jet. Is that good? Nah, nah, nah. We just use... Uh... Oh, sorry. It's not dual wheel master. It's just dual wheel wheel. We just use two ones. And just run. I mean, you can use Zagra if you want to, but I won't bother. Not in this run. I could have killed him if I played better. I also forgot to get better support gems. I, I should have way more damage here than I have. That's my bad. I was a little distracted by... Thinking about the halfing. Let me get Ali Focus here. And we need to go back to Act 1. Keep that done. Oh. Shadow doesn't use shield chat for the campaign. You could if you really wanted to, but. Since I don't plan on playing Haste, I would not recommend it. I mean, it's not like it's much slower, right? Like, it's still like 40 minute VAL with me playing like pretty bad. Like, it's like barely slower than anything else you can do. I'm gonna grab the dagger for the crafts, for the dual wield stuff. Wait, no, we can just use wands. What am I saying? I keep forgetting. That's so much nicer though, using wands because it makes colors easier. Okay, so we are good. Be good. Ooh, 15 MS. Uh, I need dexterity for that. And get dexterity soon. Assassin, eh. You don't really need a crit chance because you get enough from sensor research. And that's pretty much all Assassin gets realistically. I mean, you get plus one power charge, sure. But you get like no throw speed, nothing, nothing good. Like I think I would rather play Sabo than Assassin, and I don't think Sabo is better than Trickster in any way. I'm gonna grab spell damage once instead of blood fire now. Next time I go to town. I mean, okay, I'm gonna say one thing. If you wanna play Assassin for some reason, whatever, go ahead. But I think you should leak start a trickster. Regardless. If you wanna play endgame Assassin, go ahead. Sure. If you like don't wanna care about defense, that's fine. But you should leak start the uh, trickster. Anyways. It's just gonna be better. I read this wrong. It's gonna be down here. I 
I will... I think I will just take flammability here. I don't think you take conductivity for like four levels. That doesn't sound worth it. The only real boss you have to fight is Gravishes. Yeah, I think you just, uh, you know, take the L on Gravishes, fight him for a little bit. Okay, uh... Sell everything here. Not the boots. Uh, try to buy spell damage once, if I can. Not ideal sockets, but whatever. Conductivity, flammability. We don't really need that many sockets for this build, honestly. It's very easy to play. We grab these ones later. Because I don't need Herald of Tundra anymore, so... And I won't need Orb of Storms anymore. You need, like, nothing for this build leveling. I mean, that's like... A oh, you know what I forgot? I just realized, chat. I did forget Bear Trap. And that's my bad. I will make sure to, you know, put it in the guide so people do not forget the way I did. I cannot get it right now because it's gonna be too high level dex requirement. I will try to buy it and try to get the dex for it. But... That is my bad. So it's gonna look better than it does here. So, I mean, you know. You feel like it looks fine, it's gonna be better. What is better? Up like twenty five percent more. Ooh, four link, four link boots of all things. This felt really not that good for this though. The fact that the boots weren't highlighted is a little sketch. Those are... are those perfect colors? Or do I need to change them? No, those are perfect colors, I think. I'm gonna be a little risky here. Press the alchemy, hopefully... Either move speed or open prefix. Okay, we have open prefix, nice. Those are actually really good. Is there any forbidden flash flame combo you would want on a trickster endgame? I mean, you can get Sabo blind, you can get Sabo... The note that makes it so you deal like extra damage against enemies that are like ignited, uh, shocked, frozen, whatever. You can get... The assassin node that makes it so like you deal more damage if there's only one enemy is good. There, there is like a bunch of stuff on Shadow that's pretty good. Nothing like super OP, but everything's decent. I'm gonna craft more speed here. We have that craft, and then we craft a uh, cold dress here, and we should be good. Cold dress. I probably should have emptied my inventory when I was in town. One thing that's nice about Sabo is getting recovery. That's like the only thing it has over a resonance. Which I guess not bad. 
don't get me wrong, like it feels okay to have some regen, but I don't think it's enough to justify playing sub all. But I mean, it's not like it's one of those things where yes, I think Trickster's better for pretty much anything, but like how much better is it? I don't know. 10% better, 15% better. I mean, does it really matter? It's like the whole Jack versus Slayer, right? Like on Bone Cheddar's, right? It's like ah, it's five one. Who cares? They're both insane. That's like. I would suggest Trickster personally, but if you want to play Sabo, I mean, it's not like the build is going to be bricked. Yeah, the element immunity early is actually nice. You get it later on on Trickster as well, but it takes a lot longer. I'm gonna go here. I think I'm gonna skip the crit nodes, I've decided. I'm gonna next next run, if I were to do another run, I would skip the crit nodes. And I will make sure to mention that in like the leveling process. I think it's correct. I don't think the crit nodes actually do anything damage wise for you compared to just rushing out there. Most of us taking them because I didn't really have nodes to take, but the dual wield the uh, cluster is good. I don't think we can actually flame dash there now. We have to run around. Please give me the item, man. It's not gonna be here. Never lucky. I don't need to XP. Normally I don't mind, but I really don't need to XP on this run. But I mean, when you run into a blue pack, you do kill it still. Classic full clear. I hope I didn't miss it somehow. But I think I'm just full clearing because unlucky. Happens. Not much you can do. 27. Okay, I'm super over leveled. I'm gonna clean my inventory. And then, uh. Last two zones of struggle. And after that, it should be Giga 3 to play. Do I have a chance or, or of using? I don't actually have either of them. Is that a problem? I don't think it is, because I think... Uh, I should have looted the chest, by the way. But it's fine, we have the boots. Uh, I think Shadow gets Pyroclast. I would be very surprised if it didn't. I think it's gonna be down here, is it? No. I'm just hitting every dead end, man. Being of dead ends, just hit one more. Dead, dead ends when you don't have a mobility skill are like way worse, right? When you run out of quicksilver charges. Feels so sad. This is where like having Verlink would be good for sure. This whole thing might be a dead end, for all I know. Ah, we good, we good, we good. Uh damage, damage, damage. My problem with playing weapons by Verling is like, how much time are you gonna really save by Verling with no attack speed, right? Like, you don't really get any attack speed. So... Like, it might be slightly better, but... That's not gonna be a big enough of a difference. 
Is this good for SSR? I don't recommend Hex Blast as first build in SSR because the star can be a bit rough since you have no way of guaranteeing curse on head. Okay, important part of the run here. This is the same as on Firecaster. What you want to do is go into this eternal laboratory, grab this craft. It's not going to show on the minima, but it's this crafting recipe. It unlocks fire damage to spells. Craft it on your weapons. And from now on, you should be giga cruising. You do need a lot of transmutes, eight in total, but that's why we have them. We can search Flame Dash, Herald of Thunder, Summon Skitterbots. The reason we craft fire is because we plan to switch to fire class anyways, right? But. You could technically craft a different element and it'll be fine. But it's just better to be full fire. Since it allows you to scale with like flammability, way of conviction exposure, stuff like that. Okay, we have to kill Gravishes here. Then we can swap. See, like, the damage is so suddenly so much higher. I'm gonna do library first before I swap. I don't have level 28 yet. It's a little inefficient popping since I have to backtrack, but it's fine. So, what we will need is Herald of Ash, one alteration. We need a combustion. We need a bear trap, which I forgot to buy. You should already have that. Um... I should switch that there. Then we need... Combustion, Wave of Conviction, Herald of Ash. And Bear Trap. So it's one transmute, two alterations in terms of uh, extra gems. Yeah, you could Arcanus brand it on us later if you want to. It's probably worth it, since you have the extra sockets. I want this way too good. Oh, actually it's not that good. It's good, but... It wouldn't be that much better than the one time we're using. I'm not gonna use it because I wanna test my damage, and I actually don't have the end to use it either. Yeah, we get charge mines from Siosa, but I think it's a reward. I don't think we need to buy those. Right? Is that correct? I think that's correct. I should have looked up quest rewards before starting the run, but it's fine. I will make sure the written guide has it all, so... Well, when I say written guide, I mean the POB patch not... Uh, let's be real. That's good enough. Heavy I think it's down here. All right. Is it? I'm lost. Again. Okay, I know where the exit is, I just need to get there.
find two more. Uh, that doesn't connect, surely. I don't see how it would. It connects around here, right? That's what it does. Man, I like how Miner is like literally the last remaining archetype for leveling that doesn't need like every single socket on your gear. I think everything else just needs like 5 million sockets and you need like nothing here. Okay, Pyroclast. Uh, our class mine. What's up? I don't actually have enough to buy combustion. Well, I can buy level one bear trap here. Uh, charge mines, bear trap, uh, herald of ash. We have conviction. Yeah, I will have to buy combustion later. I could be using like control destruction here on the pyroclast, but it, it, it would only be for like three levels or so. So I don't consider it a big big enough deal. Because then you just switch to charge mines. Uh, let's put bear trap in. But yeah, I mean, if you want to shield charge here, you can, right? Like, you will lose some damage, you can shield charge. I can't be bothered. And this is not even about laziness, it's just I don't really like shield charge without haste. And I don't think you want to run haste on this, because I think the mana becomes too annoying then. Uh, what I should do, though, is I should drop Orb of Storms, I should drop added Lightning, I should equip Herald of Ash. And wave of conviction and flammability. The damage on this kill, I'm pretty sure, is like super overturned. Especially if you do proper chains. But even if you don't do proper chains, I think it's gonna be like very, very nice. It's not the best clear for uh, best skill for clearing, obviously. But I mean, listen, it's good enough. It, it will get the job done. I don't like Pyroclast in maps ever because it feels awful to full clear with it unless you have Astro Projector. But for running through campaign zones, it's gonna feel really good even if the mobs have like buffs from Necropolis. Like that ghost got destroyed there. Should not have that on him. What level am I? Am I close to 31? Oh, I actually am. Okay. I am super over leveled. But it's fine. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna start skipping stuff just because I'm over leveled. Just gonna play normally. Resist is good. Everything's good, honestly. It's like the run doesn't... It's not super fast, but it feels very nice. And at the end of the day, I feel like that's what people look for the most when it comes to leak start. Because, like, whether you are, like, half an hour slower to maps, as long as you had, like, an easy time getting there, doesn't matter. The worst is when you are, like, leveling through Axe. And then you get to, like, a random Ag boss and you just have to sit there for two minutes attacking it because for some reason you don't have damage. So I always try to optimize my League Starter to have damage in, in the Ag's more than speed. This feels better. And obviously if you can get both, that's ideal, but you can't always do that. Like, especially on bosses where you can pre-stack, like, despite the, the damage should be insane. Didn't even curse. I should have cursed. Didn't curse, didn't bear trap. Could have probably killed her in free stack. If I didn't misplay, my bad. Damn you. 
Do we get a skill point here? I think I'll just do lab right there. Yeah, I think I'll just do lab. See you. I'll grab combustion while I can. You get it. I hope you get it. You do. Uh, combustion, vape of conviction. Yeah, honestly, the four link Arcanist brand with like flammability on vape would be really nice. So if I can get four blue, I will probably do it. That is, that was a good shout. Oops. No, so. Why is it baggy? Okay, we good. Uh, I did do trial, yeah. I I did library, right? So I did trial before that. Pretty sure I did uh, Imperial Gardens trial. If not, then we just add like 30 seconds, whatever. But I'm pretty sure I did it. Okay, now this is where the build starts popping off after okay so this is where you have to make the first decision do you go one step ahead or do you go swift killer i think and some people disagree with this but i think one step ahead is better even if it gives you less throw speed it just gives you move speed as well They're both good choices, though. It's not like you can go wrong. I think I'm gonna go one step ahead. Also, freeze immunity is so nice in the campaign because it allows you to click boxes. Like, you cannot really go wrong, though. Just choose either. Doesn't matter. Both of them are the reason why, like, Trickster feels way better than Sabo early. Since you just get so much more throw speed. Like, that's, like, the main driving force for me to be like, oh, I wanna play Trickster. Especially like early game because throw speed is like really hard to get early. You get a lot of it end game, but Is Pathfinder poison hex blast thing? You can play Pathfinder hex blast for sure. I don't know how good it is, but you can definitely play it But it's gonna be weaker than it was previous leak anything Pathfinder is gonna be weaker previous leak, right? I mean, that's a pretty good desire. I will take that. Xbox is mostly Sabo play rate. Right? I mean, for life stacking, Sabo was good. But uh, I don't know how good life stacking is nowadays. What? I'm, I'm lost here. With uh, Calm's gloves being gone, and it's also a lot higher budget. And I don't know. In general, this stuff a lot of the times depends on what the guides are, right? I think Pulsar like made like a Sabo guide a few leaks ago, so maybe people are playing that. I don't really know too many people actually playing Hex Blast. Outside of that. I know me and Gucci played it last week, both in Hardcore. But we both played a Trickster. But uh, I haven't really seen like streamers play Hex Blast, so... Yeah, life stacking was really good. Like the... The build lands played was really good. It got nerfed a lot with the changes to Berserk and, uh, what's it called? Berserk and Town Spirit, but it was really good and it's probably still like fine. It's just way higher budget than I want to do on League Start. I should grab the Mana Reservation notes, they would actually be really good. I should have better filter, man. 
This is a little annoying. Okay, I'm gonna go one step ahead. I think one step ahead is better. Plus one lightning, don't need. Plus one fizz, don't need. Probably would try to sell these on Leak Star, honestly. Like, I don't know if people actually buy plus one weapons like that, but... Uh, probably not, though. I don't know how softcore is in terms of that. I know I look at... I, I know I look for them when I play Trade League, usually. Just because it makes it more fun to level. Yeah, I like one step ahead a lot. One step ahead feels good. Oh, I need to stop leveling Bear Trap. Pretty sure it doesn't do anything to level it, right? No, you don't need plus... Levels on DD do basically nothing. Each level on DD is like 1% damage or so. You definitely don't care enough. They made DD scale with levels, but they made the scaling so poor that no one scales it with levels anyways. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I kind of wish they actually did proper level scaling. Or at least like decent. Yeah, when you get these notes, your claim they should feel a lot better, right? Because you're gonna get a bunch of cooldown recovery. I completely forgot those notes existed until this run. But I it's hundred percent worth the four skill points. Because you don't really have good points to click early. I'll rethink the early pathing a little bit then. Probably just straight up skip the Oh. What? How do I get there? This is not gonna connect. I think I have to go around. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate, man. I got outplayed by the terrain generation. New mind throwing speed mastery. I don't. You mean the one that like automatically detonates? That's not throwing speed. Or is there something that I missed? I've yeah, I would rather not have that with pyroclast. It's okay with hex blast. I don't really like it with pyroclast though. You can if you are really lazy, and it's probably gonna be okay. But it's definitely gonna make it more awkward to play on single target. Which like honestly, I don't know how much that actually matters. Looking at this single target. Have you ever seen the true face of God exile? Drink not from the touch of God. It's hard to get the chains when you're not used to playing this, but even without the chains the damage is good enough. I should really use more debuffs. Doesn't help that I don't have enough mana to reserve them yet. I should have probably had that by now. Xbox is one of those mines where the chain actually matters quite a bit. Yeah, you can leap some if you want to. Again. Like, I just don't care enough. Don't think you have enough attack speed for it to make a huge difference, and for the 10 minutes you save, I don't care. But if you go scepters, you probably have to wait a bit, because there's no good attack speed scepter for a long time, until like level 40 or so. Do you know if someone has cooked up a Bama starter for Necropolis? Uh, I actually have not seen a guide for it yet. I know it's gonna be fine and strong, but I haven't seen guide for it yet. Or at least not a guide that I would be like, yeah, I can recommend this. I 
need to use. But yeah, I'm pretty sure based on how it's going so far, the leveling is gonna be super smooth all the way to maps now. Please be here. I don't want to backtrack. When do I plan to switch on Hex Blast? Uh, in maps. Like, once you are entering maps is when I would switch. Even if I had access to Dread Arc, I would probably just use Dread Arc or Pyroclaws instead, honestly. Because it's really good for Pyroclaws as well, right? Like, you can switch to Hexblast earlier if you want to. It's just... I can't really recommend that in a guide. Because, like, what if the trade side doesn't work? How are you gonna get your Dread Arc? Right, like, there's too many issues with it. It's too inconsistent for a guide, at the very least. Even if it's doable to switch early. Man, they changed something about essences. If there is an essence in the zone, there's like three or four essences. And I know it was similar to that in the past, but I, I swear it wasn't this many. So I have to make the switch level 93 Pyroclast mines. How does it feel at mapping? Like, do you feel like Pyroclast is playable? Like, it's obviously worse than Hexblast, right? But like, does it feel bad or does it feel like, ah, it's okay? My level no, tier 16, no problem. But for sure it's worse, okay. So in case you just don't get Dread Arc, it's still like fine. You can just play Pyroclaw. Oh, I went the wrong way. Sharing filter. Uh, if you type exclamation mark level filter, I think you will get the filter. It's Gucci Prada's filter for leveling. There, there was a command for it. I don't remember what the command was. Oh, I think it's level without the E's. Just LVL, actually. I need to really make a make it a better command. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> you want Dread Arc incident? I mean, if Dread Arc is rare, you, there's other ways to get a curse on head, right? Like, it's not a big deal. It's just... Early on, you would want to have Dread Arc. But uh, there's no reason for them to make Dread Arc rarer. Hopefully people just get a bunch of unings from leveling. Also, there was a Dread Arc on the Nameless Seer in the leak Showcase, so it must be super common. That's how it works, right? Unique Incubators from Ledge. Oh, I would actually- wait, I didn't think of that. If Legion drops incubators, maybe I do click Legions while leveling. I was gonna skip Legions specifically, but maybe it's worth like clicking them, opening some chests, and hope you drip some incubators. Nah, I would never drop in Sixing Incubator, but it could drop like Currency Incubators, Unique Incubators. I really hope the improvements for leveling make leveling like more fun. And if more fun means getting more loot, then go ahead. It's not like anyone's gonna be farming campaign zones for more loot. Like realistically maps are so good, you're still never gonna do that, right? I 
I really hope that the campaign improvements include a quest reward or pop binding. I really do. That would be sick. Like in like Act 4 or something. Yeah, thank you VPX for the command update. More essences. I don't think they will give us scours. Essences? Yeah, I could see that. But I don't think they will give us scours. Like, like a specific large amount. Omen? No, they said omens are from rituals only. Well, I don't know about only actually. They did say omens are from rituals though. And uh, there will be rituals in campaign as they showed. Man, I love bosses where you can just preset like this. It, mines are so good for this kind of content. Oh my god, he outplayed me. Still died. That's a really good uh, helmet. They should double regards from campaign as well. I don't know about double, but they, I feel like they should give a few extra. Maybe. I mean, you, you get a decent amount. You get two per act, right? You get 20 total if you do every side quest. But if it was like 30, I don't think it would change much. But it would just be nicer for players. Oh, my Herald of Ash is not on. Is there a copy of the new atlas tree? Yeah, if you... I think it's POE atlas tree or whatever it's called, the site. If, if you google POE atlas tree, it's gonna be like the second result after GGG's result. I never remember... No, no, it's POE planner. That's what it is. It's POE planner, sorry. Right, POE planner has the new tree. That's what it was. Yeah, there's also a path of pathing, which kind of helps you automate the Atlas process a little bit. It's pretty good too. I've been playing around with it just to see like how flexible it is, and it's honestly very well made. Except it's a little laggy. But I would still say it's worth using. What level am I? 36? Okay. It's supposed to be like 34 here, maybe 33, but... You know, leak start gameplay. We win. Tom loses. That easy. Not sure where to go with the skill tree now. I think we go Blood Siphon on Frenzy Charge and maybe grab Power Charge there too. Is that what it's called? Blood Siphon? That seems wrong. It's not Blood Siphon, right? I think Blood Siphon is the first life node. It's a uh, Blood Drinker, maybe? Yes. 
I feel like I should know these names by now. I actually think if you play Deep Slam or Shield Charge or Verling Blades, you're gonna die on this build. So you don't really have good defense outside of just killing monsters. And you're a little low on life. It's not like super squishy, right? But If you play aggressively because you don't have instant damage, I feel like it's gonna be not feeling good. Unless you're okay with dying occasionally. I don't know. I am gonna recommend just using Flame Dash. If people wanna leave Sam Verling Blades, I mean, they probably don't need a leveling guide. At that point. Yeah, the Flame Dash of CDR and one step ahead actually feels good. That's the thing, right? Because you get 8% extra action speed and you get some CDR from the mysticism wheel. Isn't this more damage than Arma Krima? Maybe the same, I don't know about more. Well, it feels very similar. Another satisfied customer. Less of thing for the prime, much appreciated. I'm working with um I need four link blue. Well, I wanna get Forling Blue if I can, so I can play Arcanist Brand. I will throw the one fusing I have on my body armor. I would settle for a free lane too, just play no combustion. Anything to avoid pressing buttons. Because pressing buttons on this actually decreases your damage, unlike cremation, so. Left for Blue 15 minutes ago? Yeah, I know. It's just, uh, I didn't really plan on going Arcanus Brand until my chat mentioned it. I didn't plan this run outside of my skill tree. I was like, eh, I, I will figure it out because it's not really complicated, but... Turns out there's quite a lot of stuff that you can min-max still. dodging <laughs> i should be using bear trap to prevent that i think if you oh my god oops we don't talk about that one i don't want i don't want a single amount in my chat right now chat please i already feel bad enough don't do it and i missed that ah uh, whoops Happens. That damage on Maligara was really good though. It's gonna be like what, 150 Kitava or something? I think in somewhere in that range.
So what is the buffing? Blood Drinker, Frenzy Charge. And then I think we just travel straight down to Ranger. There's nothing else to take. Not crit. We could take some crit notes. Do we wanna take the crit notes? Um, maybe we do, because otherwise it's a lot of travel for nothing. I'll see how I feel about my damage. If my damage is just like insane, I probably won't care about the crit notes. You, you need them eventually, so I guess it's not the worst thing to take them. I wonder how good Immolate is as a support. What what are my supports again? Charge Mind, Switch Assembly? Nah. I think Elite Focus is good enough. Yeah. Uh, okay, I actually grab Minefield. Uh, just to level it. Because you wanna have Minefield for later. Mind Drinker for reduced mana reservation. I don't think we need it. Like, we will need it later, I guess, so I could grab it, but... Mana seems fine now after picking up the mana nodes. The mine mana nodes, I mean. Wasn't this ring kind of good? It was nice. Are we missing anything important? Not really, no. We good. Oh, 38. We're just gonna be fine on levels the entire run at this point. Don't really have to look at XP. Grab the shield, maybe? I mean, if you wanna play ZHP, then yeah, Occultus is gonna be better. But... I don't know. I would rather make a build that can be played outside of Sanctum as well. As long as it's good enough for Sanctum, which I know it is. Also, I don't even know if Occultus is faster for Sanctum. It's probably faster early on because you get more damage, but um, later on you just get less throw speed, so you're just gonna be slower, right? At least that's the way I look at it. It's like, it's not like you lag damage end game on Trickster. Like the only stat that really matters is throw speed, move speed. And I would actually be afraid of dying on Occultus in early Sanctum. It's like, it's pretty hard to die in a Sanctum, but it's not impossible. Especially if you try to rush 83 Sanctums, right? I don't know. I think Trickster is the best overall build by far, but I mean, if you want to play Occultist or Pathfinder or Sabo, like Hexblast is strong enough that you can play it on like a lot of other ascendancies and do just fine. Does Lysia do Chaos damage? I don't think so. Not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure she's just Lightning in Fizz though. You should check POEDB. You shouldn't trust me on this. I wonder if I could play Minefield right now instead of Swift Assembly. Mm. It would be more damage for sure. Maybe after Cruel Up you could switch to Minefield. The problem is you need for blue for Minefield, right? So I don't even have the colors right now. Eh. 
Oh, apparently she does do chaos damage. Okay, so I was wrong. I told you to not trust me and look it up. That's a pretty good. Looks okay. Not like insane, but it looks okay. Actually, it doesn't. No, it doesn't have an open prefix strip. So, what are the flasks we want to grab on this run? We grab diamond, Light flask. diamond jade quartz, probably. Actually, we don't really play quartz even. I don't know. Plus, doesn't really matter. You just need diamond and jade, which is like at five or seven, and then you play quicksilver mana flask. What am I clicking now? Oh, like, that's like, okay. <laughs> Guys talking about the tier 17s, I expect those bosses to do unreasonable amounts of damage. Especially when combined with map mods like Fizzles Extra and whatnot. <laughs> I think it's gonna be some like unfair gameplay right there. I mean, without map mods, they're probably gonna be balanced really well. But with map mods, uh, I would expect the worst. Especially since we don't actually choose the map mods, right? Like. Also, someone was saying that apparently the Atlas tree affects tier 17 maps. Is that true? Apparently, they showed that in one of the teasers. And if that's true, you can do... One sec. You can do a bunch of cheese stuff, like putting Nico on your map, putting Einhar on your map. Uh... What, el what else was there for buffs? Hawk on your map. But uh, we have to see if that's the case or not. The world must be cleansed of impurity. Um, do I really want the Arcanist brand? I feel like I do. I, I, I will do this. Oh my god, when you get like a full chain, you get so many projectiles. I wish I was better at detonating, man. <laughs> Come on. Honestly, not the worst. Yeah, I feel like Minefield does make it easier. I would agree with that. Should I play Minefield though? Hmm. 
trying to hit free blue one green so I can move the boots. But I'm getting owned by the chromes. I actually lost some money. Uh, probably don't do that next time on a hybrid base. Currency wise, we actually need transmutes to cap our resist. Well, we have alchemies. Uh. Can craft resist on my gloves? I don't think I can craft resist on my helmet, as far as I know. I can use the other helmet, this one. Of course it is just another Coldress roll. Oh no. Coldress everywhere, man. I think I have extra Coldress on my ring too. I do. Is this fire and lightning? One good. Uh, I can use that, yeah. Okay, we are actually completely fine on resist. I just need to do the crafts. This turn's been super smooth. No issues so far. Yo, how about thanks for the raid? How is your league start practice? I assume we. Uh, sorry, I assume you're doing some nice uh, dead eye stuff. Two ten, two fifty three, act ten, LA. Okay, okay, that's pretty good, you know. Not bad, not bad at all. Is that what you're playing for, league start, or you're just doing the runs for people to have a like a run to follow? Oh, I, I can definitely not beat Havoc's time, I can tell you that much. Not on this build. I don't even know if I can beat it on any build. My Templar was like 255. Uh, I actually need to take a jewel because I will use one. There. Hey, that, that jewel is not even bad. I didn't even lose. You always have, you always take Cobble Jewel there. It's the highest like in the hood of getting something decent. And since the skill tree looks the way it does, you can always pick up a one point jewel if you want to. I mean, you always should pick up a one point jewel. But if you wanna travel through the frenzy charge duration, you could go there instead and then respect later. Yeah, Cobalt is the best one for leveling. It's just weird because you normally you don't want to pick up jewels while leveling, but this uh, this wheel doesn't really give you a choice. I guess the choice could be skipping the 10 dex node and grabbing the frenzy instead, but sorry, frenzy duration instead, by right, traveling through here. But it's just worse. It's so much worse. Actually, surprised. I feel like I don't really lose that much time past Act 2 and not having a mobility skill. I thought it would be a lot worse. It feels fine. Maybe it's because Trickster. Oh, I don't just fall. Maybe it's because Trickster action speed and stuff, but it feels completely fine. Like, my Act 5 time is like the same as it is on like Templars and stuff. Pull him up. I say the act five, I mean just act five. Obviously the 
Act 1 to Act 4 was quite a bit slower. Polymaps actually probably work quite a bit on League Start, right? People love how strument is. And it's kind of strong on League Start as well. Especially with all the like Inquisitive foolery going on. I'm just gonna look out. Yeah, the device I go. Thanks for the tier one. So Energy blade gonna be popular. That's actually true, right? I know Lens is selling it out super hard, and like Energy blade is really good. And people used to think, myself included, that it's just not good on League Start and you need a lot, but you don't need that much. You need a little bit. That's about it. As long as you have the little bit, it's already good enough. Especially if you are willing to sacrifice some defense early. Level check, 43, we are super fine on XP. I... We'll try to avoid playing Ivory Tower in hardcore, but I mean, you can if you want to, you know? I'm just too paranoid to do so. I mean, we saw Ben play Cursating Elixir on his support and he ended up dying to it, right? And that's literally the best player. So, do I have enough confidence in my confidence in myself to do better than he did? No, I don't. But if you do, it's good on you, and you should do it. Like, it's definitely stronger. Like, it's if you can play with our tower, it's definitely stronger. Appreciate the help with the leveling guides. Yep, glad they helped. I should probably be pressing my buttons. At least a little bit. Do you need to fix Sabo? I think what needs to get fixed is the perception people have for Sabo. Sabo's still good for cooldown traps, it's still good for trigger skills. It's just people need to drop this perception of Sabo being a trap and mine ascendancy. And it's like okay for traps that scale or like traps and mines that scale really well with uh, AoE. So like for explosive trap it can be pretty decent for example. So like there's reasons to still play Sabo. It's just uh, people still live in the world where Sabo equals traps and mines. Which I just don't think it's true anymore. And that's a good thing that it's not necessarily a thing anymore right? I mean, it should probably be slightly better for Traps and Mines than it is. But it's not like you cannot play Traps and Mines on it. And uh, it also can play other stuff now. Lightning Rest, we would have this craft. And then we do Fire, Fire, Lightning. We can do a live here. Fire. We actually do have the Alchemy. And then Fire, Lightning, right? Let's do fire res here. Lightning res there. Okay, we are rescued. Nice. me the loot i want the frenzy was that worth it it was worth it 
I got 19 crumbs from there. I think you should just open every Arcanist box no matter what. The heroic shot is such a good diff card. That and the 10 alterations from uh, Nico's stuff is so nice while leveling when you high roll it. Can you stop running, please? Hello? I'm scared. I can't... <laughs> I'm scared of that mob, man. I wish I could just stand and throw, but I have to run, and he keeps running too. I think because you run, he keeps running. That I'm pretty sure that's how the mob is coded. Okay, we got more throw speed now. Um, I think this is where you could switch to minefield. What's the name of this mine? Pyroclast mine. Um, I'm gonna go grab the Arcanist brand because I never press my buttons. It's really hard to press them when playing this boat on a slot. Because you don't really have time since you want to do the chains. So I think Arcanist brand is actually really good. I hope the mana is not too annoying for it. Let's try it out to see if the mana is fine. Any minion builds except SRS that are good for Sanctum. I think uh, Blinker and Mirror Arrow, or I guess Mirror Arrow. It's actually good for Sanctum. I did Sanctum on it in Hardcore, and it was like okay on a Hardcore build. So I'm sure if you, you know, build more damage, it's gonna be good in Softcore Sanctums. I was like spamming 83 Sanctums on it in Hardcore. And it felt completely fine last league. And I didn't use any Spectres from Affliction or anything. No, I, no Animate Guardian. You know, the classic laser setup. Nice, I got it first try. And we get our kind of brand here. Uh, our kind of brand. Arcanist brand, uh, support, yeah. Yeah, how about things for the prime? Sorry for that. This aircon now. And I, I am. So, I know I keep talking about this, but I'm so excited about the campaign changes. I hope they actually change the lot. Like, I hope they just added something to every zone. I really do. Like, every zone just spawns a random mechanic. Or, like, most zones. It would make leveling so much less boring. Especially when you have, like, twin gear, you would, like, be able to blast through the mechanics and whatnot. And even on, like, League Start, you would just be, like, actually choosing which mechanics you want to do. Like, it's probably technically not gonna be efficient to do them, but at least most of them. But it's just gonna be fun and less uh, tedious. Can't wait to skip all. I mean, if you wanna skip them all, that's your choice. I'm not gonna be skipping them. If there is like a bunch of mechanics in campaign, I'm probably gonna be doing most of them. That's a really good scepter. 
I could switch to scepters here, honestly. Yeah. I need four transmutes, which I have. Okay, I will switch to scepters after. Watch the entire three hour video for the leveling. Yo. Hope you learned some. Oh my. Okay, my filter was not ready for this loot. Uh, wait, it's gonna be like here. Actually. Right? No? Oh no. We do a little bit of trolling. I kind of wish I got a second decent up there. Maybe this one is good? Nope. Not that one. I don't know what to do with the sunbar, or it's not sunbar, whatever the low version is called. Scepter, that one's just like kind of whatever. But I guess it's better than the one that I'm using. No, Nick, that's just a classic YouTuber misinformation spreading. Uh, this is some lies being told by, you know, Mr. Caesarian. Not true. Uh, let's click this, and I don't know where to spend my points now. Well, I think the answer is start to click crit notes. Pretty sure that is the correct answer. And then we travel down. Do we need the dexterity right now? Probably not. Nah, we don't. Yeah, let's try the Arcanist brand, see how the mana feels. Mana is fine, but I have to press mana put. I'm gonna grab this crab in case I need it later because it's spell damage. I don't know where to, it's somewhere here normally. I don't know where. I have it because this is the software trade league. But uh I would grab that crab. Just in case you need it later. Uh what else I'm gonna grab? Fire damage to spells. So and then we drop I don't really need the arcane search. Oh my. Dude, goals are insane. I don't know what mod they had. Uh, they janked me that hard. Get a bot, thank you. Yeah, I think the damage is fine. I don't really feel like we're gonna have damage issues this run. Oh 
Uh, waiting for ZDPS. Uh, I don't think people can call this ZDPS. Pretty sure this is just more damage than Krima. But at least it's faster. Imagine damage if you buy... Oh, that is that is true. You can buy those gloves while leveling up. True. Not wrong. Those would probably be like 35% more damage at this point or something. It will make resist a little more awkward, but... It's worth it for the damage. This is level 20 jam. <laughs> yeah. Cares about resistance of core? Eh, people should. It makes you faster to not die. I think you always want to help other out. You literally use all three stats, like there's no way it's not worth it. What are the requirements? Switching into Hex Blast? It's literally just... Uh, what's the name? Curse on Hit on anywhere. Either Dread Arc or a Rare Ring with Curse on Hit or... Elevigness Corruption Gloves. You don't need to skitter butts ring at all, you just play Blasphemy. I mean, you know, I shouldn't say at all, right? Like, you want to get it eventually, but you don't need it to swap to Hex Blast, which is what he was asking about. Stay sharp out there. Who have fought those beasts before? Mark ring not work? No, Marga submission does not work with traps or mines. Thanks for the reminder, that needs to be mentioned like four times in a YouTube video probably. And like three times in the guide as well. It is kinda dumb that it doesn't work. Cause I understand why most people would assume it would. And I assumed it would until I tested it as well. So... It does feel like one of those things that uh, GGG should probably change, I don't know. Do we start clicking crit nodes? I feel like we should start just straight up clicking crit nodes now. Even if our crit is low, it's still damage, right? And like, we will have them later. Otherwise, I don't really have anything good to click. I could click reservation nodes. Let's think. Would I change my reservations if I click them? Would I, I I could go like Anger instead of Herald of Ash, but Herald of Ash is good enough. Now I'm gonna click Dread. I think it's better, especially since we are using Charge Mines, you actually have like okay crit. It's not good, but it's okay. The reason Marga's submission doesn't work is because it curses with a curse that you have in your ring and your minds don't have a ring. But the reason the curse on hit works because it's just curse on hit and it's like an offensive set that your minds inherit. Like, I understand why it works this way, I'm just saying that it probably shouldn't be working this way. And like, I'm pretty sure like if you like pointed it out to GGG enough times and they had time to fix it, they probably would, but it's also something that doesn't matter enough for them to like... ...do it right now. Because it's just a weird inconsistency.
I mean, the description is not really incorrect. That's the thing. Was it confirmed as intentional? Must have uh, must have missed it if they did. No, I disagree completely. I think I think Trickster's strength is that early game is way better than Saboteur. <laughs> and it's not even close. I think you are looking at the D. Like I think you could justify going Sabo end game, but like I don't think you can justify going Sabo early game. If anything, like I think you are looking at it the, the completely wrong way. Trickster gets the most important stat, and it gets more of it than any other ascendancy, and that just throws speed. Like sure. You don't really gain that much benefit from Polymath early, but that's why you pick it up in Merc Club. I wanna test Minefield. I hope I get 4 link Helmet. I should have kept that Helmet actually, whoops. I should have kept the 4 blue Helmet and try Minefield in it. I think after Cruel Up, you just straight up switch to Minefield no matter what, because you will have enough throw speed. I don't know, Zero Assemble is good too, honestly. Does it even matter? No, it's not really. Watch the highest tier Scarabs only drop from Maven. Oh, like instead of Elevated Sextants? Wait, that's actually not impossible. Wait a second. Wait a second, why did I just drop a 5 link? Guys, any cast on crit enjoyers? Right there. <laughs> you can go pick it up. <laughs> nah, I'm not- I'm never using that in this run. Wasted luck on practice. Uh, now nah, I will never get lucky on League Star. That's how RNG works. Unfortunate. But I didn't have Android it though. That's true. I should have entered it. For six, like, like for jewelers. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just felt like leaving on the ground. I don't have good reasonings. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm probably not going to be upgrading my gear much in this run anymore. Like, this gear is good enough to run it to Kitawa. Isn't he phased? Oh, he wasn't phased. I should have kept attacking. And the boss phases before I actually ramp up. I actually wanna like damage check, but it literally phases before my whole sequence is over. It's definitely way better than Pyroclass though. Why not use Hextouch? Because Hextouch has uh, doesn't Hextouch has left curse effect? Pretty sure it does. Doesn't it? Also, you can pre-stack Arcanist Brand. You cannot pre-stack... Uh, like such. It would definitely be okay, but...
I'm pretty sure Arcanist Branch is better. Curse Ground. I forgot about that. Uh, you know what? What uh, support gem I always forget about as well. Uh, Hex. Hex Bloom. I think is what it's called. I used to use that so much on Cold Dot. And it, it felt so good against like Harveys and stuff. It's just. It's too impossible to fit into your build nowadays. It is very good in certain scenarios though. What's Hex Bloom? It's like Curse Brawler basically in a support gym. With like super high range, like 32 radius or something. The range attack mine, uh, Lo Locust mine or whatever, yeah, that thing sucks, I'm pretty sure. Ow. Wasn't there a quest you have to do? It's for Flask. It's like, you can grab it later when you are switching to the correct Flask. It's not a mandatory quest. Should do it if you run into it though. One socket belt? I mean, I think one socket belt is actually... If it's available early, it's a good belt. For some belts. If it's available endgame, then it's not that good because Stygian is just gonna beat it. Wait, actually, that's true. You can get... Um, you can get Enduring Cry on a belt if you get influence on it, and then you can put in uh, automation support, and it will autocast the Enduring Cry. That would be kind of cool. I don't know if there's other board cards you can, or like what you can get on belt, but... Oh, sorry, not automation, I guess. I guess it would be called to arms, sorry. But same thing, really. I do have a bad feeling that there is no way that Belt replaces Stygian, unless you want to do something very specific. Stygian's just too good. Oh, I see what they mean. Like, it can roll the mods that Unset can roll, which is just plus levels. Yeah, then maybe. That's true. I didn't even consider that. That that could be a thing. That's a prefix, and prefixes on belts are actually quite weak unless it's an influence belt. You could use Cold to Arms Infernal Cry, yeah. You actually should probably try to use Infernal Cry and Enduring Cry if you can. It's just that you're gonna have some strength issues, I think. And no, actually... Ooh, mana might be annoying. No, I probably wouldn't use it while leveling. I don't think you need it. And man I think it would make the mana just more awkward. I think you just use it later on when you are running Mana Flask. Like Enduring Mana Flask, because then it doesn't matter. Left up it, you don't have the recovery to left up it. I guess Enduring Cry kinda makes care of that, but still. Uh, you need 14% CDR. So if you wanna do crafted, you need a jewel with it, or you need boot implicit with it. The thresholds are 14 and 52, I think. Not 100% sure about the second 
threshold. I think it's 52%. Ascendancy is the best for mapping with heavy glass mines? Big sure, for sure. Sub was fine for mapping too. But I wouldn't play like Occultist or Pathfinder for mapping, those suck. I think Tracer is the best for anything, almost. Except like ZHP. But I mean, it's hard to convince everyone about Trickster when people have been selling other Ascendancies for way longer. People don't know Sabo got reward. <laughs> nah, I think people just look at an ascendancy that says, you know, it's the same reason that people's first I idea behind like minions is not go champion, right? And, like in subcore, that's correct, honestly, but people don't really do stuff that's not like written on the ascendancy generally. Explosive expert. Explosive expert's okay, yeah. It's the best sub one out. But it's literally just damage. It's not any utility or anything, right? So if you're gonna compare to damage, uh polymath is just more damage, I'm pretty sure. Or they're gonna be about the same. And then you look at the other notes. And I would say the other trickster notes are just better than the other sub notes. I mean, dude, matter of fact is most people don't make their builds in POE, right? A lot of people just look at builds, which is like completely fine. But it, it's just how it is. What build is this? It's Bar Glass Mines. I don't. Ooh. Uh, we are fine, surely. Don't get hit. Please! That was not ideal. I messed up my pre stack otherwise he would have died before. I mean, the reason people are asking why Trickster is because the other guides are recommending Saboteur, Occultist, whatever, right? Or like, if you look at POE Ninja, there's gonna be a lot of Saboteurs, Occultists. So like, I feel like it's a fair question to ask. I mean, there's a reason why, like, I get asked that question like 200 times a day. It's like, just because you- ooh, uh, Just because you follow a guy doesn't mean you don't want to understand how it works or why some of the decisions were made. I mean, just leveling wasn't so squishy. I guess we could fit in Grace if we really tried. This is where minefield would be better already, I'm pretty sure. Any portaling helmets? No. The reason I say this is because sometimes the single mine doesn't kill anymore. Even white packs. Until now it kind of was. Single target wise is probably still the same, but... I should do a curl up actually.
guess I will do it after another round. I don't know how good Explosive Trap is. Also, I don't know if I would play it on Trickster. Explosive Trap, I would probably play on either Inquis or Sabo. Sabo gets AoE for it, which is good. And Inquis just gets the most damage for that one. Pretty sure. Where does a Dreddick get here? Did I miss it? It's gonna be like down here, right? Somewhere. I'm so lost! Should have made a new instance. I don't know where it is in this one. Maybe it's just down. Um. Confused. Is it one of these layouts? This one is yeah, okay. This one is very rare, that's why I never check here. I don't think Inquis X Plus is good. Like, it's definitely playable. I don't think it's good with low gear, though. Like, I wouldn't leak start that. This is the last one. Please be the last one. Nice. Oh, it's such a good, yes, I thank you. such a good glove. Uh, I'm gonna try minefield after lap, so. Even though the boots are worse, will I have resist issues when I switch? What are res issues? Can I fix those virus issues somehow? Yes, I can. Okay, be good. Lensing Steel attack speed in POB is slow? No, Lensing Steel attacks 10 times every time you attack. That's literally the reason why you use that skill. Uh, could it not? Uh, I think now we travel down. I don't think there's anything else I want to grab. I could grab the elemental notes technically for leveling. I don't think I need them. The damage is good enough. There's this, I guess. Go shroud's go shroud's don't do anything right now. What level is this? 53. What level am I? 51. Okay, so we will get to test minefield in act eight to compare.
Is this even the right way? Of course not. I'm pretty sure that's never the right way. Shouldn't have even checked. What's the time right? 2.30. Well, I mean, it's gonna be like a 3.30, 3.40 run. That's fine. But it's definitely a little on the slower side. Compared to like bows and armor brand. Where's my plus charges? It's was hard to play in SSF. Uh, it's hard to leak start, but otherwise it's a very easy build to play in SSF. Actually, it's a little worse nowadays because Sanctums are kind of rare. So you play without sensor message for a long time. I would probably not leak start hex in SSF. When the time comes to strike, an emperor strikes without hesitation. Of slumber to enter the beyond his retirement. Yeah, I mean any elementalist is gonna be leveled with Arma Brand like any fire. You can never go wrong with Arma Brand. Okay, that damage is that damage is nice. <laughs> I'm pretty happy how this leveling feels. I feel comfortable recommending this. I wasn't sure about Stormblast when I like when I did a full Stormblast run. I was like, eh, maybe you just want to level with Arma Cremo or something instead. But nah, Pyroclast is the way for sure. This skill actually feels good. Oh, that's a dead end. I should have known. Wrong way. An aspirant can afford to be promised to you. An throne is the most devious. Do I have enough mana to reserve all my mines? I do. Wait, my mines got destroyed. I might die. Okay, uh, that was some gameplay issues there. There were some gameplay issues right there. <laughs> I didn't expect my mind to get destroyed, I forgot about that. Uh, I was like, ah, the boss is dead, I don't have to care. And my life loss are not ideal. Uh, okay, this is fine, actually. One master, yeah, you can grab that one while leveling, honestly. It's not bad. I don't think you need it, but it's not bad. Is the new master good? It's good for a lot of people. I'm not gonna use it. I think a lot of people will click it and enjoy playing with it. That's my guess. It's a lot better on Hex Blast, I think, than it is on other mines. Because Hex Blast won't just randomly go off if it doesn't have a target.
The real question is how the automation support works with detonate mines. If it takes the cooldown of detonate mines, then it's really good. If it takes the 0 0.6 seconds, then it's not good. But if it takes the detonate mine cooldowns, I think people are just gonna automation it. So why not? It's not like it's bad. It's basically gonna be left click, but better for most people. If that's how it works. Have to see. Yeah, there is the master. But the master is like a little weird because sometimes you just want to stand still and throw traps. Uh, sorry, throw mines and the mines still to explode, right? On pre stack, uh. Xbox pre stack doesn't care. So the reason why Hexbuzz is so good, uh, one of the reasons, is that it never goes off unless it has a target in range. So you can always pre-stack uh, properly if there is no nothing targetable, even if you are detonating at the time. Oh my. I hate getting chunked like that. These zones are very sketchy. I wish you could get a little tank here, but it's hard. I mean, you could just not go to crit nodes and grab a little extra life, but it's not really gonna make a big difference. Haze would make a difference. Sorry, not Haze. Grace would make a difference. This boss is cheating, okay? Uh, the hitbox on this boss is just high. It's really hard to have low damage on this boss when you have like overall upskill, like Krima, Fireclast. I could have looted some gear, but I don't really care. Like the mind trigger? No, the mind trigger is a mastery. It's a mastery on mine uh, clusters, which is really easy to get. It's an age blood, that's okay. Even, even if one could drop, I wouldn't want to see it before the leak starts, you know? Uh, I would rather play Hex Blast and Arc Ignite. Arc Ignite is good build, but it just doesn't have damage early on. And it's really hard to scale the damage on that build. It's fun, but it does have like solid damage issues. Okay, I need one more level, then I can try Minefield. Uh, let's go there. So, question is... Do we go Graze once we get Charisma? And I think the answer is just straight up yes. So maybe I should go Charisma earlier, so the leveling is safer. I think that is the answer. You don't need a crit, you have like way too much damage. And like, the crit scaling is so inefficient per point for point, because you only have like 30% crit chance. So what I'm gonna do in the guide is recommend just going Charisma early and running Grace instead of Herald of Ash. Damage is good enough that it doesn't matter. And you start clicking the crit notes after you grab the Grace. Okay, we can try minefield now. I'm guessing minefield's gonna feel better, not worse, but we'll see. 
Minefield is just so much easier to play because you don't have to be good at detonating. And Trickster actually gets enough draw speed to play Minefield. I think it's better. Need to do a few zones, obviously. It would be... Okay, if you are minefield, you definitely want to have grace, right? Because, like, you stun yourself for a little bit. Yeah, sure. If you want to use shield charge, do it. I have some dual wield node, so it's kinda hard to switch to shield charge. Oh my, what happened to that boss? Seeing that boss makes me think you should. most people should just straight up play Minefield. Because it's so hard to do like a proper sequence on... Uh... On Swift Assembly. The question is, can we switch to Minefield earlier? I think I'm gonna try... Simulating lower draw speed and like figure out if it feels fine. After the run. I think Cruel Lab Minefield is 100% correct. I don't know if you can swap to it earlier. But latest Cruel Lab should be correct. Do I have any MTX for this? I don't like how this skill looks. I don't, Rip. Yeah, okay, mine feels a lot better. <laughs> that right there is literally just me holding right click. Doing nothing else. Like zero skill involved. No, I didn't grab Snow Forge. You could grab it if you want a little more damage, but it's I don't feel like you need damage. You could grab it and then respec out of it later, right? But it's minus four points. Do you need it? No, I don't think so. Also, Inver Master it doesn't do much. Because you play flammability. I guess you could play Sniper Smart actually. Why am I not playing Sniper Smart, chat? Hmm, is Sniper Smart even better than Flammability? After the changes? I'm not sure. I will check in POB. Because I can just... That, 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 that one is an easy check afterwards. You only get the projectile damage, right? You don't get any splits on this skill. Because it's like ground targeted, so Sniper Smart doesn't work with it. So it should be like the same damage as flammability at best. Wait, how does returning projectile work on Pyroclast <laughs> actually? You don't have the links for it, even if it worked well. Right, because you have to use charge mines, you have to use. Uh... Oh, I guess technically you could not use solid focus. But it doesn't. I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know. 
Okay, when you don't have frenzies, the minefield throw speed does not feel good. I think crawl up is a good place to switch, actually. I think people are gonna like hate the soul stun before that. Because like the first pack of the zone when you don't have the frenzies, like it definitely feels like you're standing here for a little too long. I don't you cannot you can no longer farm that and with level of Katarina. The level of Katarina doesn't affect the drops anymore. What's a green gem? I oh it's a bear drop. That's what it is. Okay, I need to get another green gem to my build. Somehow. I don't really know what I'm gonna do on League Star. I don't think I'm like going into Sanctum straight from the campaign. You technically could, but I think my plan is to just uh, do some mapping first, get some gear, and then Sanctum becomes so much easier. And uh, unless you are very confident at Sanctum, I would recommend you doing the same. Like it's just unnecessary hard when you just leave the campaign. Like just map to like level 80, which doesn't take long, and then then start. I need a green. Thank you. Surprise how little I have to care about mana. I thought it would be a lot more painful, but I feel like I barely have to press my mana pot. This a little helps. The mana cost on the mines is not that bad. While leveling. Okay, I'm gonna go grab Grace. Be well. See you. I don't think we need the damage from Herald of Ash anyways. I do think I wanna get the Grace into the building like Act 6 or something. Just to feel safer. Oh, okay, that's an issue. No. It's not a big issue because you have access to more dexterity, but. Does this give dex? It does, okay. So it doesn't actually matter. How much evasion? 2k? It should feel a lot better. Could even use a Jade Flask. Third is good. It's just uh can't recommend switching to X Bus early. What what if the trade side doesn't work right, for example, or what if somehow Dread Arc is like pre C or something, people wouldn't have that while leveling for a while, so it's just like eh. Level with Pyro class. It's not like Pyro class sucks at leveling anyways. Like this skill when you don't have to full clear the zones, it's like so insane. The damage on Pyro class is just good. It's just bad at clear compared to Hex Blast. That's like the main difference. Oh yeah, that's true. Like if you have Dead Arc, right? Like it's not like it's bad on Pyroclast either. You just have to use the scepter next like with it or something and you get flammability on head. So like you could just buy Dread Arc and then still stay Pyro until maps. Oh, 
I love the minefield. May maybe you wanna switch to minefield earlier. Uh hard to say. I need to test like the throw speed in later. I would probably go to do like some act five bosses or something or act six bosses without crawl up and see how it feels with minefield. I'm guessing that it's just gonna be annoying even if it's more damage. But we'll see. We'll see. Is the delve for curse on headring? I mean, it's worth checking the delve. Like, you know, the auto delve that happens. You should definitely check that. But, uh... I wouldn't, like, go sideways and, like, try to look for a ring. That's not reliable enough. I mean, I don't recommend leak starting this build in SSF. I just don't. Because... Not only the whole curse on hit situation, you also don't really have access to sandstorm visage forever in SSF, unless you get lucky. Not that you couldn't do the sanctums, but the problem is you just don't get enough of them in SSF, right? And it, it does take a few tomes, like probably like 10 tomes average or something. In train league, you can just buy the unique relic and run it yourself, or just like buy tomes and run sanctum, right? But in SSF, that's not an option. And playing without sandstorm visage for like days, yeah, there, there is better starters. So, like, this is definitely a trade league build, in my eyes. Can you play it in SSF? I mean, probably, but I don't think you should. Not as first build, anyways. As a second build in SSF, I'm sure it's amazing. Because, like, it's not like any of the gear is hard to obtain. Like long term, it's just hard to get on leak start. And so many people planning to start mana stacking. I'm expect I mean, I know you don't need Indigon for it, but I wonder what the price for Indigon is gonna be this week. Because it's most likely gonna be an Uber Uber Elder Drop only. Damn, I I, I really wonder how expensive it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna actually be like 20 30 divs for like the first week minimum. At least you can still play it without it, but... Is there... I think Pulse Turn is making a leak start guide for Mana Stacking, so... I'm assuming it's gonna be fine. And then Connor is doing... Uh... Connor is doing the Jack stuff, the Molten Strike, I don't like that build. Like, it's not weak, it's just bad. Bad is the wrong word. I think it's not comfy, I guess. I don't know how I would call it. Like, numerically it's strong, obviously, right? Clunky. Yeah, I guess Clunky. Clunky does describe it well. I see it as a POV build. And like, sure, Connor plays the game very differently, right? And he does like Valdemops and stuff. And I'm sure it's gonna be insane for that. But like for normal gameplay, I feel like there's like way better ways to build characters. But I mean, he doesn't care about normal gameplay, so for him it's gonna be good. But uh, I think uh, otherwise, I mean, Pulse is making a... I don't know if it's Archmage or Mana Stacking in general guide. And then uh, Quantric was looking at some. I think Vagal was looking at some. So like there, there, there is gonna be... There is gonna be good stuff. You know what I ha what I think is gonna be good later on in the league though? 
uh, fixture in stacking with like Indigon. Because you like you, you play Archmage Trickster, but the end gives you both mana and ES, right? Like I feel like that has to be good end game. It just has to be. I don't see how it's not. But it's gonna be like infinite amounts of gear that you need. I know about will not be expensive dd uh probably true there's not i mean okay there's some stuff that is going to be expensive on dd polaric devastation i think is going to be expensive for example yeah we already saw the belt with the socket what do you mean <laughs> we saw it like six hours ago Okay, not six, four, three, whatever. <laughs> the point was that we saw it, okay? <laughs> Listen, you think I can stream this game without like not seeing GGG news within like five minutes of what, when they get posted? My chat is like, like, when that happens, you know, the chat just gets spammed with the GGG news post. Which is a good thing, I mean, you wouldn't want to miss it, but... I should have blinked the curves up here. I think X-Blast is the best starter for Sanctum. I don't know if it's the best, but it's definitely among the best. Like, easily top 3. Man, I'm gonna miss the XP rares. Can they not remove them? They are kind of fun. They give you a reason to kill rares while leveling. Those are gone. I'm pretty sure I read in the patch notes that they were gone, yeah. Bad frogs. Uh, I'm gonna kill a lot of frogs next week. Can't wait. Crafting mana gear is annoying. Yeah. Crafting mana gear is not fun usually. Well, okay. Crafting early game mana gear is actually really nice, but crafting end game mana gear is really annoying. As long as you are okay with like, you know... You get your mana regen roll, you do crafted mana, which is like 54, which is not even bad. You can get life and mana on almost every piece that way, because you get either life or mana, craft the other one. Like, it can be really good in that sense for early game. But in terms of like end game mana gear crafting, there's just no way of doing it. Unless Necropolis has a bunch of corpses that say, you know, mana modifiers are higher tier. Mana modifiers are more likely to appear, which I think it's actually going to happen, so... 
Necropolis might be the way to just straight up craft mana gear, but people need to figure out how to craft it. Which is gonna take a day or two. Or a week. <laughs> not a dead eye. <laughs> Listen, not everyone can just play dead eye LA every league. And you plan to switch to Hex Blast? Uh, in maps, normally. Like, as you are entering maps, you would do the switch. Fossils? Fossils can be okay, yeah. What does Lucent Fossil block? It blocks a speed modifier, right? It gives, uh... More mana, no speed or something? That's actually fine. Grace feels a lot better than Herald of Ash. Technically, you could get Leech on Mines if you wanted to, but the reason to go Trickster is the amount of uh, Mind Throw speed you get and the defense you get from uh, Escape Artist and the Suppression Node, at least against spells. I mean, Grace in general feels good. Follow the link. It's like really strong. I, I always like Grace more than Determination while leveling. Especially on like the right side classes. But even on like Witch, it feels better. It's just you can't really get the decks on Witch. The damage is a little silly considering the skill tree. Be careful. I mean, it's not bad if you actually have armor bases, though. It's just in the speedrun, you don't really get them. Every practice run, you get a little worse. That's kind of impressive. I don't know how you achieve that. <laughs> Getting consistently worse. I mean, I think one of the things might be you feel like you're getting worse, but you're actually not because you might just be looting more, getting more gear, getting more levels and stuff like that instead. So like your time might be like five minutes slower, but your character mi might be like a lot more ready for mapping or whatever. Which like honestly is the more important part than a few minutes here and there. League start is 9 p.m. Not Wait, what's the league start time for EU people? Or like CET? Is it at 9? Oh, that's kind of nice. Wait, 8? Wait, it's 8 CET? Yo, that's the best league start in forever. If it's 8.
If service make good. Yeah. It's national holiday on Friday too. Oh yeah, that's true. A lot of people have that right because it's uh, Easter. It's national holiday like Friday and Monday for most countries. That's what like most EU countries, I think. I mean, we, I know we have it. It's been years without server problem. XCD. Easter means family time on Saturday, Sunday. Uh, for me, it means family time on Monday, but only like one day or like one uh, morning ish. A eh, few hours. I don't know. We just we just meet up on at my grandma's place. The entire family. It's nice to meet up, but it usually is like few hours. So I'm not going to lose out too much POE time, you know. And it's Monday, like, but Monday, the leak is al almost already over, you know, it's like, start of day three, who cares? Only time is good time too, that's true. You're not wrong. Depends on the family. Eh. Spear Saber. I wonder if people still use that uh, item on League Stars. People used to use it for like EK and stuff and like G like Glacial Cascade, but it's not wrong guys. That is a tradition. I mean he worded it in a very unflattering way, but he's not wrong. What's a good build to play after DD with Templar? I mean, you can just play Gas Gasunger DD forever. That build scales well enough into any game. But, um, I don't know, like, Inquisit Caster, anything is good, right? It's not like Inquisit is ever bad when it comes to end game casters. Penance, ma <laughs> I mean, ironically, Penance is still good, but like, you can pro like if you have enough gear, you can play like Stormbrand. Always, it, uh, actually, it got nerfed. I don't know how good it is now, even with good enough gear. Also true, you could reach back into mana sucking end game. If you ever get bored of custom crit. Because mana sucking is gonna be insane end game for sure. There's just no way it's not. It's just the, qu the big question mark is just the early game. Nice, I didn't forget the feather this time. Maybe the scepter is good? Actually, it is good. Damn, that would be a decent scepter. Open prefix, yeah. I'm not gonna use it. Uh, what you would do is you would spend two alchemies on this probably. 
Even though you plan to respect soon. I don't know if you would actually. Probably spend four transmutes only. And uh, grab flat fire and use it, but I don't really want to simulate good gear. Oh yeah, there's a uh, there are like two interviews this week, right? There's a uh, interview with Jonathan on like uh, Talkative Try or whatever on YouTube, I think, and then there's a uh, interview with Mark on Zizz's channel. I'm looking forward to that. This is gonna be a dead end, I think. I have to check though. Maybe not. Yeah, there's been a lot of interviews recently, but I think it's good. I mean, for GGG right now, every interview they give is pretty much good. They very rarely get negative pushback on the interviews, right? So if they enjoy doing them, might as well. That was a uh, very questionable flame dash. <coughs> LA champ or rage cleave? Why is LA dead eye not an option? But I would rather play LA champ than cleave, I think. I don't know. I don't know how good cleave is. I've seen people play it last week and it had good AoE. Oh my. What is happening in my chat? Yo, VPA exhibit, can you guys put it on followers only real quick? Thank you. That's pretty funny though. <laughs> uh. That was the second time I dropped that this run. I was looking over at my chat, sorry. Well, <laughs> that's a... Uh, shit happens. 
At least it's not PoE2, so the boss doesn't heal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a bot attack in my chat, so I was just like trying to figure out what's going on. But it's, it's fine now. Restart? Nah, I, I died like three times in this run or something. I see gamer confirmed. Yeah, I mean, it's a SC leak start leveling. Like, it's not like I'm chain feeding. This is like fine. Like, if you die a few times, it's fine. Just don't die like 20 times in one zone. I mean, you don't want to use Sniper's Mark on DD because it doesn't scale DD damage. Assassin's Mark does. So it wouldn't make sense to use Sniper's. You'll be leveling? Yeah, there's gonna be a like, full-on guide that is gonna include leveling as well. Probably on... Uh... Wait, so custom crit tomorrow, which is Tuesday, so this guy... A guide for Hexbus is probably gonna be Wednesday. On YouTube. If you want POBs, well, that's not leveling POB, never mind, you were asking for leveling. There's an exclamation mark Hexblast in chat that gives you the day one and like endgame POBs, but it doesn't have leveling. It's gonna be my leak star most likely. It's either this or the inquest. I swear this flame just feels faster. Oh maybe it's because I have the the dual wield notes, never mind. <laughs> I like this flame and DX a lot. The sound is just nice. Can he Xbox farm big boom expedition? Uh, you don't want to do immune to curses. You don't want to do immune to chaos. Is there also immune to crit? Immune to crit would not be fun either. The rest is fine. So like based on that, it's like what three moss that break you. The rest is completely fine. I mean, it can do it. I don't think. I would roll Hexblast to do Expedition though, I would roll some Dot build instead, but oh my, okay, I just got one pump bomb that guy, it, it's him dude, he's him, I'm not him. Actually got owned. Reading chat, not there. I didn't even try to make that excuse, what do you mean? Wait, this is a dead end, what? There's no way this is a dead end. Has to continue somewhere. Okay, we avoided him. Just gonna do the cheese strat here. I'm gonna look at my skill tree. Um, yeah, we start clicking these notes so it makes a respect. Oh, actually, I should grab the crit note first and then those. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, fire class owns well of a link. It's way better than I expected, to be honest. Uh, I thought it would be good, but I didn't expect it to deal this much damage. Uh, 
master change good or bad i mean it's either nothing or good because i mean i'm not using the other masters so i'm not gonna use it but i will probably recommend people to use it because it is a lot easier especially end game i would recommend people to use it what does throw speed do i mean you get throw speed because you're a trickster that's half of the reason to be trickster Trickster is the only ascendancy that you can play minefield on on league start and not feel like you are hating your life. And minefield is just better than uh, anything else, really. Well, except unless you are dead eye. If you are dead eye, then Swift Assembly is good. But dead eye miners are actually so fun too. It's just hard to get enough damage on league start unless you go really ZHP. Okay, Avarius, uh, Merc Lab, and Dava. Honestly, this time's not gonna be that bad. It's gonna be like 335 or so. I mean, I kind of stopped gearing, so you would have to add like 10 minutes or something to fix the gear, but... That's what trade is for. When is it good to switch x -plus? When you finish the campaign. That's what I will recommend you could do it earlier but i think there's no reason to power class is just good before that the power class is just good in campaign when you don't have to full clear once you have to start full clearing power class kind of falls off a clip until you get astral projector satellite but i need a curse on hit yeah you do but you will be able to buy it after campaign all you need is a dread arc I think Hex Blast feels better to play than Explosive Trap, but not an Explosive Trap expert. I only tried it a few times in testing, so. Eh. I'm sure it's strong enough to be played, though. Kinda even buffed it this league, so. I wonder what the virus damage is gonna be like. This is where Hexbus would be so much nicer. <laughs> Can't wait to have some trees. Okay, okay, and bam. I actually expected more damage than that. Oh, I messed up the sequence the first time. Uh, something good, maybe? That's not good. Lab time. The goddess is watching. Uh, there. Oh my... I need to stop getting slapped. I 
I thought that I'd actually feel fine with uh, with minefield. Without minefield, auto detonate would feel a lot worse. I'm just trying to simulate it by holding spacebar while building, and I feel like you definitely could just play auto detonate. I need to actually focus on his arrow. I could die if I misplay easily. What is that? Oh, curses. Okay, let's go. Why not? Why not make it even worse? You might have to play the mechanics in lab. I don't know. Nah, you don't. It's fine. Just nick the boss. If you die, you misplay it. It's fine. Curses are like the worst one, though. Because if you get hit with curses, you will actually die. And if you do your preset properly, I'm pretty sure you perm like insta faces are every time. What is this? Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna throw mines slightly off center. I think so he doesn't destroy them instantly. Uh, yeah. Um, that can happen, turns out. Oops. He did destroy me instantly, you're not wrong. Okay, so I need to do the first mechanic properly. I can't go in with curses. I mean, that's what I was afraid of. I remember when I said if you died, it's a skill issue? Yeah, about that. Wait. Should have geared a little more for the test run. It's just like, it's hard to convince myself to gear when I know I'm quitting after Act 10. On Leak Star, I mean, yeah, you're gonna be a higher level on Leak Star actually, but I don't wanna use it as an excuse. How does Trickster get throw speed? What do you mean? You get 8% action speed and you get two frenzy charges. That's like. So much show speed early on. It's way more than Sabo gets. Sabo gets like 10 in total, right? Rickster gets like minimum... Uh, minimum like 40? Depending on how much show speed you actually have. Okay, let's play, let's play this mechanic properly because... Uh, Sub is good for trigger skills, and it's good for cooldown traps. Kinda. Or like AoE traps in general. Like, there's some stuff Sub was good for. I don't think it's good for normal mind builds though. Actually, it's fine for life stacking, for example. So, I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff you can do on Sabo. It's just. People need to stop thinking about Sabo the way we used to think about Sabo. That's like the main problem that there is. I mean, I don't like Sabo either, but like, 
I don't like it for the boats I used to play on Subo. But it's good for some builds. If you want to check the inquest testing, uh, just click through the what from yesterday. The character is like literal charge gear. I don't think I changed the character, so you can just check the character called Ru is a cat meow. And uh, then look at the footage and make up your mind for yourself if you think the build is good or not. Okay, I will kill this guy, so not have to deal with him later. Okay, he died. You know your build sucks when you have to do live mechanics, man. That's the, uh, you know, build does. If you actually have to interact with lab mechanics, build sucks. I mean, this this combination is particularly difficult. If you leave all the curses alive. I mean, curses are in general probably the worst. And what does? No. But at last click. Nothing really changed about the build, though, so. Not much to test. Oh, is the curses are so scary? Yeah, isn't like the Ella Weakness curse like 50% reduced stress or something? It's like super high. I don't know why it's so high. It's definitely not, not the same as normal curses are. No, oh, it's not made with hardcore in mind. For hardcore, this build is like a sanctum build. Unless you make it CI and put in proper gear. I would not least start this in hardcore. It's not even that good right now because I haven't started clicking the masters yet. Let's finish Kitaba. Let's do a quick closing thoughts and that should be it. I mean, I'll call this is the answer if all you care about is your damage number, right? Like if you wanna like do like ZHP basically. Then Occultist is more damage. But it's like impossible to build defense on Occultist. And I feel like it's like impossible to a point where if you do 83 sanctums early on Occultist, you will die in them. And I don't even think it has more damage early. I might be wrong about that. I would have to look at that properly. It does have the Vitter, which is good. And the Vitter part is definitely strong. But, I, like, overall, the build is definitely weaker. Pathfinder. Um, I don't like Pathfinder. I think Pathfinder is uh, 
Like, what are you gonna do? Play poison? Play hit base on Pathfinder? If you play hit base on Pathfinder... I don't think it's gonna be strong early. Unless you do, like, some really scuff memes where you play RF early on. Then maybe. I don't know. I recommend Trickster. And I think Trickster is the best Ascendancy overall for the build. Obviously, you can play it on other Ascendancies, but I mean, if you want to play it on other Ascendancies, uh, grab the build somewhere else, you know. It's like you have to build it differently for each Ascendancy. Don't just grab like a build from a cultist, put it on Trickster or vice versa. That just doesn't work well. Do you need to kill a clear quest sanctum? If you look at the character called... I don't know what the character is. I have a Trickster in Affliction League that's like level 85. If you look at that gear, I had that gear and level 73 character and I cleared the quest sanctum. I don't remember the character name though, but the gear is still unchanged. Oh, Pyroclast is way better than Stormblast. But it wasn't like easy Sanctum, but you should... You could also check the VOD yesterday to see how it looked. Class so good, actually. It's kind of wild how much damage this skill has. Done. Okay, 334. Not bad. Okay, quick closing thoughts. I will answer this because I get this asked like 5 million times. Why Trickster over Saboteur? Because this gives you throw speed, this gives you throw speed. And throw speed is like the most annoying part early on when it comes to playing miners. And in general, Polymath is good damage. You will eventually drop one step ahead to grab Spellbreaker for defense. And Trickster is just good. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, closing thoughts about the actual run. It was very easy to play because no shield charge, no leap sum, nothing. Uh, Flame Dash actually feels good when you go the dual wield nodes, so I think I will just recommend using no movement skill. You can use it if you want to, but it's not needed. Uh, Storm Blast until 28. It's pretty standard, it's not like insane, but it works. And then Power Class is actually way better than I expected. It was a super smooth run, I always had like way too much damage. I will make a proper POP for this and a guide on Wednesday. It's gonna be out on YouTube on Wednesday. Um, I will change a little bit the leveling compared to what, how I did it, but it's gonna be very similar. And otherwise, I think I'm done yapping. I think I'm done yapping and everything went fine. I mean, the leveling was very easy. You don't even need sockets so of... Like you don't even need to play well. It's so nice. Love it. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye.